Hello, all of my simulators, and welcome back to the channel. So today for you guys, I have a in-home daycare provider tour. So this house is a daycare, but it's also, you know, someone's home. And I've seen a lot of these on the internet, real, real life ones. So I thought it would be fun if I gave you a tour of one that I have interpreted and made my original design in my home. So you get this lot by completing the daycare crafting event and after claiming all of the prizes you can claim this lot and it comes with this beautiful playground at the back as you can see i have some kids playing in the tree houses and such and then we have one of the daycare provider right here with his baby watching the kids this is the front of the home and the reason there's two H's is because they custom built this home and this actually means heavenly home. That's the name of their um, daycare. And there's a sign right here that says it. I pretend. <laughs> and yes, so this is their front door. And as you can see here, we have a coat rack and a clock. As soon as you enter to the left, this is a face scanner, so as soon as that door shuts, the alarm is set, and it goes off when a parent enters, and it only has their face ID, so they all they have to do is put their face up to the little monitor there, and then boom, they have um, access to the home and the alarm is off, so they manually check in here electronically. They can just turn it on and press their child's photo, their name, and say that they're in. Just in case they're outside or not in the home or available, they have a way to get in. Over here is where the kids come and put their clothes, their shoes, their lunches. If they um, carry lunch from home, usually they just make them lunch. And then this is one big room, but I've used the dividers to suction it off, and I really love how this looks. So to the right, we have the, I guess, playroom, the indoor playroom. And I have the island of books here. I have some deluxe kitchen sets and some different things over here. Some toy chests. It's just really, really cute. I am in love. It's, it was very pirate themed. And I love it. It's very, very cute. So over here to the, I guess, right of me, but to the left of the playroom, is the living room. So I have uh, some bookshelves here, I have a couch and a table of course, and I've paired it with this lamp and chair and table, and I think it goes so well together. And this is the desk here for the preteens, preteens are like 10. Um, and stuff so in case they have homework or something that they need to, to get done or if they um you know if they need to get something done on the computer they can either in the morning or if they take them in the evening and then over here as you can see i've used the sliding doors but they keep this one open so they can watch the kids but through the sliding glass doors is the kitchen it's a very large kitchen of course because they have a lot of kids and i've used the white countertop with the black cabinet and i love that I have two extra high chairs over here in case they do have babies. Right now it's all toddlers. I have a little um, china cabinet kind of thing going on here with all the coffee and stuff. And I did that over here as well. It's just the countertops. And then over here is the dining room. And this is the high chair for the little girl. Specifically. And then through here is the formal dining room. Which you can also get through here. But this door is closed and locked. As well as this one was, because they don't want the little kids going in there. But this is the formal dining room. I use the new gray set. And of course the new lighting that we've gotten. And we'll quickly show you the backyard. And so through these glass sliding doors, we have the new table and chairs, a fire pit, 
and then some stuff for the kids like a trampoline and pool and a little tree to kind of like separate the spaces so we've used a high board fence because of course realistically you wouldn't want the kids like being able to get out the little ones being able to get out so they have a high board fence here and this is the gate they just let them go over here and play so i'm going to go down now into the basement so once you go down to the basement to straight here we have the laundry room i've used the new laundry sets and then to the left we have the nap time room the nap area for the toddlers when it's nap time we have some for the infants and for the uh, toddlers and then over here is where they can um sleep so they each take turns getting the pirate ship bed and i thought that was a cute idea over here is the bathroom and this is where they change the babies if they have accidents now, this is my favorite one of my favorite parts of the house it's the teen hangout room so like pre-teen and teen hangout room so once you come in you have some sweets some popcorn and such you have one of those egg hanging chairs a game set and then over here kind of like caged in you have a little tv and stuff so you can come over here and sit and lounge and watch tv and i just thought it was really really cool like you can sit in the egg chair and read a book or listen to music and stuff and i just thought it was a very very cute room so they have their separate separate little pad <laughs> so now going up the steps we get into a long hallway to the left we have the office and I've used a pink accent wall with the two pink corner chairs and I love the gold fireplace with it. It really just helps tie everything in together. This is a gay couple that lives here, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And one of them is very, very into like styling and furniture and stuff. The other one's like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> so you can imagine um, the one that's into styling stuff decorated their rooms and stuff. So over here we have the corner, or I've cornered it, uh, lavish fireplace. The two pink corner chairs again and then they have this bed set and i've used the valentine's day lamps and the luxury living um bedroom set over here is their master bathroom and i've used some new items along with some older base game ones and then we have their closet over here is the family bathroom and then over here is the nursery i love this nursery so we have the rocking chair where they can like rock her to sleep or rock while they read to her. She has a little play area here. Because of course they don't want her really playing with the other kids because they are older and might get a little more rough. So um, they, one of them usually just sits up here and watches her play or either they'll put her in her little, her little uh, high chair. And over here is her little jumper thing and this is where they put her when they want her downstairs right now though um her father's holding her this is her changing station and then this is where they can sit and nurse her and um read to her and there's a little baby monitor as you can see on that which is really really cute and then there's two guest bedrooms i'm just going to show you one because they're exactly the same i've used the beige lamps i've mixed the villa furniture along with a very old designer bed and very old designer couch. And I love the way all of this ties in together. It really shows that you can still use the base game furniture and make it look good. But a lot of it is, how do you say, terrible? <laughs> oh no, I'm just kidding. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not fabulous either. <laughs> But anyway, that is the entire daycare. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, Siminators. Hello, all of my Siminators. This is the second part of my video. So I just wanted to show you the new hairstyles we received with the daycare event. So as you can see, we've gotten these ponytail... Ooh! <laughs> these, like, braided in ponytails these are so adorable i love these oh my goodness these are so freaking cute and then we have these little like pigtail um i think they're a french or dutch i think it's a french a dutch i think it's a dutch i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but anywho they're really really cute they remind me of a teenager like one of those 80s teenager movies when the teenagers had this kind of hair that's what this reminds me of oh my goodness it's so freaking cute Next up, we have new shoes from the event. 
Oh my god, they're wedges. Oh my gosh, yes, we finally have wedges. I don't really think we had wedges before. These are so freaking cute. Yes. That's really, really cute. It won't zoom in on the foot, though, so you can really see it. Sorry. But anywho, back to outfits. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is something new. Wow. <clears throat> This is something new. Okay, this oh, this kind of reminds me of the dress I kind of have, except it's shorter. Okay, and it doesn't have that little ruffle on the bottom. Okay, I could definitely make this work. Okay, so I think I'm going to put her, because my hair is red, so I'm going to put her, because this is me right now, this is my sim, and <clears throat> it seems we have... Nope. Okay. That was weird. It says I have something, but I don't. Any hoozy. Um, and I think I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and dress her on camera. This is not one of the new outfits, but I do really love these outfits for summer. They're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do the polka dotted one, and I think I'm going to do the wedge with it, the darker wedge. And then is my complete sim. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so cute. I love this. All right. Well, thank you for watching the second part. I definitely recommend going checking out the new hair and stuff. It's so darling. I love it. All right. I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye, everyone.